The new Chimera, aka the Honey Badger, is insane in Modern Warfare 2. Another thing, it might be called the Chimera instead of the Chimera, but everyone kept calling it the Chimera, so I ended up getting stuck in my head and I ended up calling it the Chimera, but it might be called the Chimera. But that's besides the point. This class setup was built around no recoil, no aiming idle stability, and fast mobility. If you guys are looking for a class setup like this, then stick around and watch the full video. In this video, I unlocked the Chimera. The update just came out earlier today, about two hours ago. I've been... I've been upgrading the weapon, at first I had to unlock it, which is 2 kills, leave the game, and do that 15 times, and you can complete it in about 10 minutes. So I did that, then I unlocked the weapon, I leveled up the weapon, got it gold, and then got all the attachments, built a class setup on it, or should I say, I built the class up before I got it gold, and I ended up dropping an MGB with it on shipment, bro, it was insane, I was going absolutely wild with this gun, it's busted. But if anyone's telling you it's the best AR, they're capping, bro. It's very good close range and medium range, but it's not very good long range. So if you guys enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like and sub if you're new. We're on the road to a thousand subs. Be here before a thousand. If you guys are interested in best class ups, tips and tricks, how to get better, best settings, nuclear gameplay, and the camo grind in Mono for 2, then subscribe. It's free! But now that that's over, let's get into this insane Chimera class setup. For the first attachment, I was running the Ravage stock. For the second attachment, I was running the Slimline Pro. For the third attachment, I was running the VLK Laser. For the fourth attachment, I was running the FTAC Ripper. And for the fifth and final attachment, I was running the 45 Mag. This class up was going wild, as you guys can see in the stats. Everything was boosted. The mobility was slightly nerfed, but you honestly can't even feel it, which you can even see in the stats that was hardly moved to the point where it's damn near not visible. I did make a few class ups with this. I was testing the weapon. I tried on um, the barrel that gives you long range. It's actually pretty decent, but I felt like it didn't really help that much when it came to long range damage. I literally put on two attachments for damage range. I put on the suppressor that gave damage range and bullet velocity, and I put on that barrel that gave damage range and bullet velocity. And I also built them towards damage range and bullet velocity, but I still felt like it wasn't a good balance. Like, it felt like it barely gave more damage range and nerfed my ADS too much. So that's why I decided to take off the barrel. And since you're not running a barrel, I'll take off the muzzle because it has a built-in suppressor and it won't allow you to have a muzzle on unless you have a barrel. So this is why the class up looks like this. You can take off the optic if you guys like the iron sight and slap on a rear grip. You can slap on the rear grip that helps out with sprint to fire and ADS and then build the tunes towards um, recoil control if you like, or you can put on the recoil control one and build towards ADS, it's all up to you. But I'm not gonna hold you guys up any longer. Let's get into the main thing that made this class up even better, the tunings. There's only three attachments you can tune because the laser and the 45 mag can't be tuned. So let's get into it. For the first attachment, the stock, I built it towards aim walking speed and ADS. I built towards ADS so I can aim down faster. And I built towards aim walking speed so I can stray faster. Like I said, you want to be a moving target. You don't want to be standing still and shooting. If you're standing still and shooting, you can easily be killed. And since you're building towards aim walking speed, it allows you to stray faster. And in this game, when you're strafing, your head tilts. So it makes it harder to get headshotted. So it'll be easier for you to get headshots on opponent to start standing still than it is for them to get on you because you're moving so that's why you want to build towards movement for the second attachment the slimline pro i built towards close and ads ads so i can aim in faster again and i built towards close so people don't look like ants in my optic site this is more personal preference but honestly i feel like you should go towards close so people actually look bigger on your optic you don't want to go all the way into close because it starts to look weird and clunky to where it's like it looks extremely zoomed so that's why i don't go all the way into close I literally go into close a little bit so it actually makes my opponent look bigger on my optic but not too much to the point where it looks weird but this all personal preference you could go into far if you like or close but me personally i say close is better and for the third and final attachment the ftac ripper i built towards aim walking speed again so i can stray faster and i built towards recoil stabilization so my gun doesn't have any recoil while i'm shooting which you guys saw i was absolutely lasering people from a distance and there was no recoil involved at all and this thing literally has no aiming idle stability like i'm gonna show you guys in the firing range real quick like look at this bro that's the aiming idle stability it's hardly moving bro it's an absolute laser It's insane, bro. And yes, when it comes to range, you always want to burst fire a weapon that's not very good range. It's insane, bro. But yeah, anyways, let me know guys' thoughts down in the comments about this class setup. And let's get into this insane MGB gameplay using this Chimera class setup. Alrighty, guys. Damn, they spawned me into a late game. But I'm in... 
but I'm on shipment. Uh, shipment isn't the same as it was in Modern Warfare 2. Not because the cars are missing, but the map is bigger than what it was, which honestly is a bonus. So not only is it bigger, which is a plus because before it was just way too damn small. Flash is all ready, dude. Holy God. Back to what I was saying. It's bigger and they also don't have the verticality in this map. So you can't go on top of the crates, which honestly is a plus and not a plus at the same time. Because I was usually the person that went on top of the crates to get people out of the little head glitches on the trucks. Which honestly, the head glitches aren't even that bad anymore as you guys can see. Before, all you saw was like half a forehead on the cars and it was almost impossible to get somebody off the head glitch. But now, you can actually get people off the head glitch because it's not only a forehead showing. It's usually like the whole head plus like the neck. Maybe even a little bit of the shoulders. Which is also a plus. But I don't think I'm going to go for a nuke right now because everybody named Mama's playing this map. And I don't have time to get sweated on. Oh, the AFK. Come on, man. I also leveled up the Chimera. I unlocked it, which all you got to do is get two kills in 15 games, which is easy. All you have to do is literally get two kills and leave. That's it. And do that 15 times. You can get it about maybe 10 minutes. Depending on how fast they get you into a game. Mine was about 10 minutes because they responded me at the lobbies, bruh. And had me waiting to play, which is interesting. Because they usually spawn me into late games. Flashbang, come on, man. Get out of my way. And of course, they, they play that when I try to... Cool, man. I hate when they play that game when you try to pick up ammo and they make you pick up another weapon. The Chimera is definitely pretty damn strong. Anyone that's telling you it's the best they are is lying, but it's good. The gun is very strong close range and medium range, but I'd say it slacks a little bit longer range due to its damage long range. And I built this class up extremely good. This thing literally has no recoil. No aiming idle stability. It's ADS is still fast. Like you guys see, I'm slapping with it. I'm trying to hide up because at first I wasn't going to go for a nuke. But I'm kind of going crazy right now. So I might just try to go for a nuke. The amount of smokes and flashbangs thrown on this map are insane. No, nah, I'm not going to poke that. That's a dumb poke right there. Because they can just be sitting there pre-aiming and head glitching and I'm done. These spawns definitely aren't as bad as Modern Warfare 2019's either, bruh. In Modern Warfare 2019, it was game time, bruh. No cap. You would spawn in with enemies. This one isn't as bad to where you're spawning inside of each other. I do like this map better, without question. Definitely the best thing they could have done. Got rid of the head glitching cars. Hey, I like that spawn. Keep on spawning right there. Bro, almost killed me. I said spawn them in front of me. Bro, I don't even know what I was on. How did I get killed by my own bouncing Betty? I was at full health. I should have gotten hit marker. Alrighty, guys. Here's gold on new Chimera. I'm going to see if I can drop a nuke with it. This gun absolutely slaps. No cap. Like, its damage range isn't very strong, but its damage medium range and close range, fire. Bruh, I literally almost dropped a few nukes with this thing while trying to get it gold. The problem is, is they were just playing me due to the damn, either the game mode or the spawns, bruh. I built this class set up for literally pure accuracy. Oh yeah. I had to put on trophy, bro. I literally was being spammed to death by flashbangs and concussions. Like they were spamming lethals too, but nowhere near as much as flashbangs. I literally spawned in and got hit with like four flashbangs consecutively, bro. I literally couldn't see my screen for like five minutes.
I gotta watch out for a kid with a shoddy. Dang. I'm gonna call out the harp now. Because I don't have to wait like I was before. Hell no. I saw I was about to lose that and it's gone. I built this class up for no recoil and accuracy, bro. And while it still retains its mobility. You're not besting me, brother. As long as the spawns don't flip, I should have nothing to worry about. has a trophy too. I have no more bullets. Bro, I have no bullets. Nope. I gotta hide in this corner. I got no bullets for this. And the spawns just, they just not making sense at that point. They start spawning boy in tube like hell nah. Oh damn, I'm on a brutal. Nice UAV. I needed that real bad. They got shotgun users too, that's why I'm not pushing it. I'm trying to play it real safe right now since I'm like one, two kills off. I already got killed, or the game ended one off my nuke already. I'm using this gun. gotta be joking this kid's using snap grenade bro there's mgb let's go holy god that's why i was running uh trophies bro because the lethal spam and the tactical spam is insane but i got it after i literally just unlocked gold last game using this gun I think, like I said, I died about three, four nukes with this weapon in total. I think it was three I got killed off and one the game ended, one off my nuke. Literally, it was TDM. I was one kill nuke and then the game ended on me. I know I had to sit in the corner to build that streak, bro, but like, you see how it is. Like, you saw all the flashbang spams, lethal spams concussion spams SAE I'm gone damn I finally died I might just call in the nuke right now bro I'm called in now this weapon is insane it's not the strongest long range and don't let anyone tell you otherwise well man this gun's insane holy damn the streak the streak <laughs> <laughs> no way, bro. I just got a hell of a feed. That was insane. I tried to look up and see where the damn MGB was coming in at, but all I saw was a helicopter and a UAV. Oh my god, you dropped the nuke. <laughs> all saber. All Holy god, bro. I dropped the nuke. I literally just kept going last game. It was going crazy this game. 20. I'm dropping nuke. That would be me. 59 and 6, yo, that's crazy.